Okay, punters, we're going to take a look at um, race four at Tari on Sunday. It's a 1,250 metre 50k maiden, um, super maiden. Um, we've got two in this race that we want to be backing. It's a good confidence betting affair. Uh, the top elect, well, actually, what I'm going to do first is just go through the market. I think that's more important at the moment. Um, equal market leaders, Ruby Serve and O'Leary. Um, Understandably, I can see why. I've got Ruby Serve in front of the Leary. Um, the big query for Ruby Serve is, is the alley. If it overcomes the alley, I think it wins the race. Um, there's one at double figure odds from the lane yard that's worth also nibbling at that could improve, uh, that's down from originally racing in Queensland, Bold Rogue, um, currently 16 and 3.75. Nibble at it each way in support of Ruby Serve, who we're going to back as the top elect. Um, let's take a look at them. I'm going to do the form of Ruby Serve and O'Leary first and why I've got Ruby Serve on top of O'Leary. Okay, Ruby Serve, well bred by Rubik out of the Swiss Ace Mare Serve and Volley. Good speed injected bottom half of the pedigree. I have no doubt this one will handle a wet track as it's already proven in its career. The run I'm going to go on is the second to Empress Wonder with Pippi Beach back in third in April, over 1,200 on a good track at Newcastle. Um, the form out of this race stacks up left, right and centre uh, to suggest there's more to come yet. <clears throat> we know how smart Empress Wonder was if you were um, doing the form back around this time. Um, form around Skirt, The Law, Cafe, Millennium, Lazago, The Prep Prior, Third home, Pippi Beach, um, has since franked the form in town in Sydney. Um, also good form out of the race further back uh, through the likes of, let me bring it up for a second. Through the likes of Floodgate, Shalman, Ludovica, um, all good margins further back. The form stacks up out of this race to suggest at the, this level with the 59 kg up, 50, up from 57 and a half, to top weight here, I've got Ruby serve three to four lengths above par for the tag, all right? Um, second up into this on the back of coming from near last, first up over 900 in the strongest Super Megan behind Super Private Harry at Newcastle. We'll come on from that. Um, if it does and hits the level of this 1200 metre run back here at Newcastle, it's gonna prove very hard to hold out. Um, O'Leary, also lightly raced, well bred. Um, by all too hard out of the more than ready Mayor Mahiri. Draws 15, draws wide as well. The second to Renata was good. Um, but I've just got a feeling the depth coming out of that is not as strong um, as the depth coming out of the form around the top elect Ruby Serve. Now, if we just go back deeper into, the, into this form of O'Leary. <clears throat> okay, the winner of O'Leary Super Maiden last time out, third at Canamble to start prior, third at Cosmina before that, went to Wyong in the 45k class one, beaten 2.8 by American Starlet, Prince of Sorts. Third home come out and won next time out at, at Kempsey. <clears throat> but the depth further back out of this race starts to fall away a little bit. Margins aren't great. Fourth home. Second at Port Macquarie the next, next time out, beating 0.65, putting O'Leary half a length in front of that maiden level there. Fifth home beating 2.1. Fourth in the trial, second in the trial at Musselbrook prior. Sixth home, come out and ran fourth, beating 3.2 at Hawkesbury in a stronger 42k maiden. Yes, this is a 50k maiden, but it's at a normal 27k maiden track level, all right? That always needs to be taken into consideration when you're assessing super maidens. Um, and seventh home beaten 2.4, went to Canberra for a 22k tag to start prior beating 2.5. Okay, so everything out of that is telling me a leery, a length to two above par for the tag on that run. Minus scope for more, two to three, goes from 55 to 56 and a half. So 
at the top end, I'm happy to call a Leary two to three lengths above, while I've got the top rated Ruby Serve three to four above. If it overcomes the alley based on this Newcastle run, it should beat a Leary. Uh, I'm just gonna pull up that Newcastle second very quickly. This is it. Okay, so this is a Leary running second. Uh, sorry, Ruby Serve running second. This is Ruby Serve here. Right, we'll just go back and pick him up. Let's remember the winner, very smart. The winner's Empress of Wonder, third home, city winner, Pippi Beach. Here's Ruby Serve here. Chasing down Empress of Wonder. Pippi Beach back here in third on the inside. All right, so if it brings that form, if it brings that form, it wins, if it overcomes the alley. The other one that could surprise that I also mentioned um, that you want to nibble at on an each way basis is the four, Bold Rogue. Bold Rogue. Okay, deceivingly well bred by Under the Louvre out of a Zerisma, it's a real wet track pedigree. This second at the Sunshine Coast over 1600 back in April, April to rock ya, was very good. Closed off hard. If it gets the right trip over the 1350 here and reproduces this run, it is a chance of running into the mix. Ship south um, for the lane yard. Um, yeah, it's here for a reason. So if it's, that form stacks up, it could cause a boil over at double figure odds. So once again, Tare race four on top, Ruby serve 3.7. And also nibble each way at Bold Rogue in support 16.0, 3.7. It's Tari Race 4, thanks.